Hi, my name's Jack Webb. I'd like to tell you about a new radio show and the music it features, which I guess isn't so new. The show is called Pete Kelly's Blues, and the music you know is called Jazz. Together, they kind of tell all about the big noise and the big trouble of the Roaring Twenties. In fact, the program is set in a Kansas City speakeasy. Pete Kelly plays his Boston three-star cornet there from about 10 o'clock in the evening until they sweep out the broken glass. The music is straight New Orleans, the kind that started in the front parlors of Storyville and drifted up north. Well, I play the role of Pete Kelly, but I don't play the cornet, though. Dick Cathcart does that. He's probably one of the finest in the business. He also conducts six men who've been giving out with the best in Dixieland music for a good many years now. Well, that was the idea, putting on an exciting show about Pete Kelly and the world that he lives in and spotlighting the music that's so much a part of his life and times. But the idea kind of got a little bigger. The people over at Capitol Records heard the initial broadcast a few weeks ago, and I guess they kind of liked it, particularly the music, so they said. So they decided to take the music off the show and release it on record all over the country. We called the fellas together, and we asked Maggie Jackson, the vocalist on our program, to drop in. And then they cut some sides. And the results, we think, are pretty sensational. The men in the band, we call the group Pete Kelly and his Big Seven, are all pretty well known to you, I'm sure. Matty Matlock's on the clarinet. Ray Sherman plays the piano. Elmer Schneider, or Mo Schneider, as he's known, is on trombone. And the great George Van Epps is on guitar. Morty Corb's on bass, and we have one of the finest drummers in the business, Nick Fatool, on the drums. Dick Cathcart, of course, is the cornet man. The music these men play is fairly unique. It has all the beat and the feeling that was in the great music of 30 years ago, but it's also neat and clean, we think. We believe anybody who likes music is going to like these offerings. Well, that's the story. We think it's a good one. We hope you like it. And if you'll kind of flip this record over and give a listen to the other side, why then we'll all know for sure.